In the year 1214, St. Dominic, the founder of the Order of Preachers, the Dominicans, was in anguish because he was failing in his attempt to convert the Albigensian Cathar heretics. These dualistic heretics taught that the spirit is good and that all physical matter is evil. They believed in a good God who is spiritual and also a bad demigod who created the physical evil universe. The Cathar heretics identified this sinister demiurge with the Old Testament God and called him Rex Mundi, king of the world. For them, religion was a battle between the good father of Jesus Christ and the evil Jewish demigod called Rex Mundi, king of the world. These Cathar heretics taught that Christ was never actually human and with a physical body and rejected that he was born of the Virgin Mary. They also rejected the bodily resurrection of Christ and the seven sacraments since they were tangible, physical. They rejected marriage and believed sex was evil since it entrapped more people into physical bodies. The Albigensian heretics were popular in France and St. Dominic had prayerfully committed himself and others to preaching to and converting these heretics to save them from their errors. So this is the backdrop from where we get the rosary. Listen to what happens next. St. Dominic failed miserably in his missionary work amongst these French heretics. He attributed his failure to his own sinfulness and to the poor example of Catholic clergy and laymen. The heretical preachers lived in extreme poverty, while the Catholic bishops and abbots lived in luxury, rode stately horses, and dressed lavishly. St. Dominic went alone into the forest for three days, praying for the conversion of these heretics back to the one true faith, Catholicism. He flogged his body and scourged his flesh. From the fasting, pain, and exhaustion, he fell into a deep sleep. Dominic experienced an apparition of Blessed Mother Mary, which thereafter links St. Dominic and the Rosary. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared with three angels and asked Dominic, quote, Dear Dominic, do you not know which weapon the Blessed Trinity wants to use to reform the world? Dominic answered that she would know better than him. Mary responded, quote, I want you to know that in this kind of warfare, the battering ram has already been the angelic psalter, which is the foundation stone of the New Testament. Therefore, if you want to reach these hardened souls and win them over to God, preach my psalter. When the Blessed Virgin Mary spoke of the psalter, she referred to the 150 Psalms of the Old Testament. Monks of the early church would pray all 150 psalms daily. Those who could not do so spread out the Psalter over one week. Others would recite 150 Our Fathers or 150 Hail Marys to complete an easier quasi-Psalter. Dominic understood that she wanted him to preach the 150 angelic salutations, which is the 150 Hail Marys. Ave Marias. After seeing this apparition, St. Dominic preached the angelic Psalter, the Holy Rosary, to the unconverted Albigensian heretics. The 150 Psalms were divided into 15 decades, or groups of 10. To each of the 15 decades was assigned a mystery corresponding to the physical, incarnational reality of our Lord Jesus Christ. The heretics rejected the incarnation of Christ as physical, and so the sign of Mary that she bore his physical body inside her womb became the means of conversion for these heretics. The 15 mysteries of the rosary are grouped into three sets of five decades each, totaling 150 Hail Marys. You see, the Albigensian heretics, they, didn't, they thought everything physical was evil and wicked. And they rejected 
that Jesus came in the actual flesh. They thought he was a ghost or a spirit. The solution Our Lady gave to Dominic was preach the angelic Psalter, 150 Hail Marys, meditating on 15 doctrinal mysteries that reveal the physicality of Jesus Christ. And how did Jesus Christ receive his physicality, his material body and blood? He received it from Mary. Truly, truly, she's the mother of God, the mother of the Messiah. There are only two persons in the universe that can say, our son. One is God the Father, eternal Father. And one is a creation, the created Virgin Mary, finite. She and God the Father can say, our son. No one else. 